Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Hello, tech fans. Welcome to this week's Into Tomorrow TV update. I'm your host, Dave Graveline. Rob Almanza joins us soon with this week's product spotlight. He's got a cool solution for photo editing that requires no software and it's free. It's time now for This Week in Tech History. Here's Chris Graveline. Thanks. This week in 1873, E. Remington and Sons of Ilion, New York began manufacturing the first practical typewriter. The strong as steel, heavy black clunkers became instant fixtures in offices across the country. It would be another half century before electric typewriters made their appearance. In 1941, FM radio began in the U.S. when station W47NV in Nashville, Tennessee started operations. W47NV was the first commercial FM radio station to receive a license some 20 years after its AM radio counterpart, KDKA, in Pittsburgh. And in 1877, Emil Berliner, the man behind so many inventions, came up with a little thing called the microphone. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Thanks, Chris. It's a good thing the microphone was invented. Otherwise... How many pictures at a time are you deleting from your digital camera or computer because of imperfections? Wish you could repair them and do it for free? Rob's here now with this week's Product Spotlight. Rob? Thanks, Dave. Even with digital cameras improving on a daily basis, sometimes the pictures we take are less than perfect. I do have to admit, though, that sometimes we do create great pictures by mistake, and then when you're trying to recreate them, it's pretty hard. So why not do something with that bad picture and create something amazing? Check this out. There's a website I ran to called Picnic, a free flash-based online editing tool that makes it easier for you to fix your pictures. You can upload your pictures from your computer or import them from websites like Facebook, Flickr, Picasa, Photobucket, or WebShots. It's really simple. I'll give you a quick demo. You can try Picnic out for free without opening an account. However, if you choose to, registration is free. I'm going to go ahead and import a picture from Facebook without signing on. And I'm going to import a picture from Vegas here. Basically what you do is you drop down and select edit. Pretty simple. So this is me and Andrea in Vegas, and then here you have your options. There's auto fix, rotate, crop, resize, exposure, colors, and sharpen. There's even a red eye reduction tool. However, no red eyes here, so it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and play with the exposure a little bit. What it does, it just brightens it, and you can distort it a little, make it kind of creepy, or you can play with it and create a cool art picture. So what we'll do is just focus the light on our faces, and what you do is just select OK and it saves that preset. You can also play with colors where you can turn it into black and white or grayscale. And with its saturation here too. I'm going to say I like that. So you hit OK. And basically once you play with all these different tools, just do save and share. Add a caption. That's actually the caption I have on my Facebook. So that's Andrea and me. And what you do is save photo. And it saves it automatically on my Facebook because that's what I'm using. However, you can also save it on your computer if you're importing a picture directly from it. Picnic is pretty much like iPhoto. For those of you familiar with that, I encourage you guys to give it a try. And who doesn't like free? F-R-E-E, -E, you get the idea. I'm going to continue experimenting with other pictures, so here's your host, Dave Graveline. Well, thank you, Rob. It's good to know there are free services like that available to help us preserve our precious photo memories. Do you have any questions about consumer electronics? Is technology bugging you? Well, then be sure to call our Ask Dave hotline. It's open 24-7, and we're standing by, even right now, for your call. Dial toll-free 1-800-899-INTO. That's 1-800-899-4686 from anywhere in North America. Then, stay tuned to our weekly radio show to hear your call. We thank you for joining us into tomorrow, and we'll look for you next week. Stay tuned.